that soup I made really, um, it's making me burpy. <laughs> it's good soup though. Spicy. Spicy, good soup. Um, okay, so Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith, did I get her name right? His wife? Um, so they have come out as swingers, right? They've come out as swingers. God, I remember it was like over a decade ago. It was like, they were talking about, God, it was like a decade or two decades ago. They were talking about how they started working out and like getting in shape and their sex was better than ever. Right? So obviously both of these people are incredibly fucking fascinated with sex. Um, to the point where based on the type of things that they're putting out in the press, I'm starting to think that they're sex addicts, right? Because they clearly, they've got some, I mean, okay. So let me talk to you about this whole concept of open marriages and swingers and stuff. Because I literally fucking faced this in 2018 when I thought a dude was like getting divorced. And he's like, I'm in an open relationship. We're going to get a divorce. And he started courting me into this whole situation. So let me explain to you why this is a fucking problem. Uh, for those of you who are out there being like, yeah, but I'm going to do this, have this open. I, he's, by the way, he's not the fucking first person. There was another dude who was hit, trying to hit on me <laughs> like a decade before him who was bragging about having an open relationship. And I'm like, wow, that's weird and kind of gross. And I just don't really want to be a part of that. Um, but in this case, with my project partner in 2018, he told, he straight up told me his marriage was falling apart and he was going to get a divorce. So I thought he was on the way out. He wasn't wearing his wedding ring. I totally thought he was on the way out. I'm like, okay. He told me straight up that I was too conservative, that I should be riding in a covered wagon because my views were too conservative. Let me explain to you why the, this whole swingers open marriage thing is a bad thing. You already have fucking problems in your marriage. You already have problems in your marriage. That's why you're like, well, maybe we should open it up and have other experiences too. You already have fucking problems in your marriage. And what you were doing by saying, I'm going to be in an open relationship is you're opening up your fucking problems to invite additional people into your fucking problems. And you already have fucking problems. You have problems, and now you're introducing new people into your problems. And you're assuming that the people that you're introducing into your problems are not going to be emotionally connected to your fucking problems. But you're going to sleep with them. So yes, of course they will be emotionally connected to your problems. That's the fucking stupidest thing ever. I'm sorry, but I totally disagree with this whole, I'm going to be married, but I'm going to be a swinger. Look, you want to be single and fuck around. That's on you. That you do whatever works for you. You fuck around as much as I'm single. I'm <laughs> like, you can totally fuck around as much as you want. If you're single, but if you're married, you're saying, I have made a commitment to one person. So anybody that I else I invite into this situation is going to be considered lesser. That's like, um, it's like, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for when you're married to several people at the same time? It's like, it's literally, it's like uh, polygamy. It's fucking polygamy. I mean, come on, guys. Come on, guys and gals. Because girls who, gals who uh, jump on board with this and they're like, yeah, husband, that sounds like a great idea. It's not a fucking great idea. You're inviting additional people into your fucking mar marital problems in a really personal and intimate way. That's a real, that's not a good idea. It is not a good idea. As somebody who literally got courted into a situation like that in 2018, it's not a fucking good idea. I think it's absolutely disgusting that they just platform. I'm, I just flipped on, I don't even watch TV that much, you guys. Um, I just flipped on the TV and they were doing a story on Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith and 
how they have an open marriage now and they're swingers. They're basically swingers at this point. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. Because if you're swingers, it means that you're not totally satisfied with your partner. It means that you need to have more. You need to have more. And so you're going to therefore invite additional people into your problems and, and further complicate the situation. And that's exactly what fucking happened to me in 2018. I got invited into somebody's fucking marital problems. And then he's been gaslighting me and, and smearing me ever since. I, I, I sincerely hope that we don't accept that as some sort of normal. Uh, you know, there are some uh, progressives out there that promote a lot of sexual concepts that I think are not exactly healthy for society. That's one of them. I don't think that's a healthy concept for society. That, oh, I'm not entirely happy with my marriage, so I'm going to fucking open it up so I have, like, I don't see that as being healthy. I I, I don't uh, see the, the concept of promoting sex work as being real work as being healthy either because it masks uh, what has really been going on, which is sexual exploitation and human trafficking. I mean, sure, anybody can do whatever they want, but that's not usually what happens in sex work. That's not usually what hap What usually happens in sex work is actual human trafficking and exploitation. And the idea that we're going to try and normalize that and make... I Ah, uh, folks. Look, maybe I am a little bit conservative in my viewpoints, but is that terrible? Is it terrible that I have somewhat of conservative viewpoints I, i'm willing to try things try new things and shit but uh no this whole concept of open uh marriages is not a good thing because basically what you're saying is i'm gonna have like a financial commitment to you but you're not satisfying me sexually so i need to open up my marriage so i can have sex with other people uh, but i'm not going to make any sort of commitments to them and when you have sex with people, you do form an attachment. It does happen. And you're inviting all these other people into your mar marital problems. It's not, it's not, a, I'm sorry. This is my opinion on this. This is obviously, this is my opinion on it. I don't find this healthy for anybody. I don't, I don't see how this is a healthy situation. And anybody trying to talk you into this bullshit, it's not a healthy situation. And no, I have no desire to sleep with fucking Will Smith because he's in an open relationship. What a fucking, I mean, I, I find that disgusting. I, the other um, interview they did something like 10 or 20 years ago where they're talking about getting fit and how their sex was better than ever. That was kind of cool. I'm like, okay, you get fit, you have better sex. That's kind of cool. But clearly they can't stop fucking talking about sex. They're talking about it constantly. These people are fucking sex addicts. I'm going to get trolls on this video. I, I, I'm going to get fucking trolls on this video because I do have, I have strong opinions. I'm going to get trolls on this one.